Do you have low airflow coming from one of your vents in your house? In today's video, I want to talk about some things that might be able to look at maybe some solutions for that. I will say that a lot of these solutions, you're probably gonna need to get a pro involved, but I thought maybe doing this video might be able to kind of put you in the right direction, maybe a few things you had not considered, and possibly help you get a solution. So let's dive into this. Five reasons you could have low airflow coming from a vent in your house. Number one, newer heating and air systems, especially if you had your system replaced recently, a lot of newer systems are meant to have lower airflow. As long as they're keeping temperature in your home, they may have a variable speed indoor fan motor or even an ECM, meaning multi speeds. There's gonna be times when it's just barely running depending on what mode it's in. And depending on what type of system you had installed, it may be doing exactly what it's supposed to. Now, I will say if it was installed and it's low airflow and it's not keeping temperature, something might be wrong, right? Maybe they didn't set the dip switch settings or the airflow settings for that air handler. But all in all, if your old system was kind of blowing the curtains back and your new system no longer is, it's very possible as long as that system is keeping temperature, despite having lower airflow coming out of that, vent it's very possible that that system is operating exactly how it's supposed to I wanted to take a quick break from the video and thank the sponsor of this video, AeroSeal. Leaky ductwork is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, energy wasters in most homes in the United States. And my favorite way of fixing that problem is AeroSeal. They'll come into your home, they'll test your ductwork and how leaky it is, they'll seal all the ductwork with a machine, and then they'll test it again and make sure that you got what you paid for. Customers have reported a significant savings on their energy bills after using AeroSeal. I'll put a link down in the description of this video. Thanks again to AeroSeal, and now let's get back to the video. Number two, you could have a ductwork issue. I've seen houses where they said, hey, I'm getting low airflow out of this vent. We go there, we find out it's come disconnected. We've found out maybe a critter has torn into the ductwork in some way. Maybe the duct has been crushed. We've seen jobs where the cable guy was there before we were and he was trying to climb over a duct and he crushed it. There's a number of different things that could happen to that ductwork causing it to have low airflow out of a vent or a couple vents. So you may actually have a ductwork issue. I'll go one step further and that is if you have a zoning system, you might have a problem with the zoning system. So maybe it's not necessarily a ductwork problem, but the zoning damper is not opening and closing as it should. Maybe something's even gotten kind of stuck on it. We've seen that before. Maybe it's just simply malfunctioning. The zoning module or the damper, or all the different components, something is failing or is just not operating the way it's supposed to. And some of these things you actually, as the homeowner, might be able to see. You might be able to visually inspect that ductwork and see if there's something wrong. If you don't mind climbing into tight spaces, you don't mind getting a little dirty, you might actually be able to find out the problem without getting a pro in there. And again, you might still need to get a pro in there to eventually do a proper fix, but at least you'll know that if they tell you something's wrong, you will have seen it for yourself and now you know that what they're saying is in fact wrong. Number three, things are dirty. Dirty air filters, dirty evaporator coil, dirty fan wheel on the indoor fan motor. All these things can produce lower airflow going through a vent or multiple vents. You're not being able to move as much air across there. It's almost starving it. It's choking it for airflow. And any of these things, as far as dirty, things that need to be cleaned up, maintained, if you're, especially if you're not having the system maintained as often as you should, all of these things can cause low airflow. Number four, Four, you may need a duct cleaning. Yeah, there are times when things have fallen down that ductwork or it's just built up that much dirt or dust. We had a customer one time that called us and said, I'm not getting much airflow. And we ran a camera down their ductwork only to find that their brand new ductwork that was only a couple weeks old was full of drywall dust. The good news is a simple duct cleaning might be able to resolve a lot of those issues. The bad news is duct cleaning is not free, but it is less expensive than a lot of these other issues that you could possibly have. And then finally, if you are getting low airflow out of a vent, it's possible you now have a blower motor or booster fan, which is something we'll talk about in a second, 
one of those has failed or is failing. You might say, well, Josh, it doesn't do it all the time. Maybe it only does it every now and then. There are motors sometimes that they have windings in there, and if it starts on any of the good windings, the system will run fine. But if it hits that bad winding or windings, you will have low airflow. And unfortunately, if the fan motor has failed, the only fix for that is usually to replace it. Now, there are homes that have these things called booster fans. Now, if you bought this house and you didn't know that it had one of these and that fan were to fail, you may not realize that's the problem. There are times when technicians will install these things called booster fans. They're ultimately just an extra fan in that ductwork meant to push more oomph more air to a certain part of the house. Maybe it was undersized, maybe for some other reason, they had to have a booster fan installed in that area. And now, unfortunately, that fan has failed. And just like a blower motor, the real fix for that is usually replacing the booster fan. I have always said that in most residential homes, if the ductwork is sized properly and installed properly, you shouldn't need booster fans, you shouldn't need dampers to balance air and all that stuff. If everything is installed properly, more times than not, you should not need those items. However, if you've got a home, it's already got one there and it's failing, or it stopped working for one reason or another, having it repaired or replaced is probably gonna be your best course of action. So that's it, that's my five. Did I miss one? Have you had an issue with low airflow out of a vent and it wasn't covered in this video? I'd love to hear about that. Comment down below. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about some of the common odors you might smell in your house and what you need to do about them. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button, We'll see you next time.